Today we're going to make uh, cauliflower wings. So what I'm going to do to get things started is I've got about six pieces of bread. This is whole whole wheat bread. Ezekiel sprouted whole grain is a good one to get, but um, they're not huge pieces. So I'll just show you here. I've got the pieces of bread. There's six pieces, and they've been toasting at about 300 for 15 minutes. It's it's just a rough. Uh, a rough estimate just until they get hard you can sort of tap them and just test them. I've done them sometimes when they've been a bit softer and it was fine. So I just break it up a little bit into the Vitamix. If you have a food processor that'll work better. This is, Vitamix is generally good for wet products but uh, it works in this case as well. You can put whatever spices you like in the, in the breadcrumbs. We use this for other recipes as well. For example, onion and garlic powder. So I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in there, just a sprinkle, and some onion powder. And I'm going to blend that up. And uh, make some breadcrumbs really easy. So there we go. So here I'm going to cut off the uh, the base of the cauliflower. There might be better ways to do this, but uh, this is how I do it. I'm just cutting off the that core in the middle, cutting around the around of it around it there, and um, and then I cut from underneath. Hey guys, I've chopped up the cauliflower, as you saw there. Nothing too big, don't want them to be too, too big. Next I've got a cup of whole wheat flour. It's uh, organic, I use organic whole wheat flour. You, you can use all sorts of things, a chickpea flour, people using all sorts of different ones if they're gluten free or whatever. Um, with the one cup of whole wheat flour I add a cup of water. Or you can use unsweetened almond milk. And I whisk that in. And um, it's kind of like pancake batter. So here I'm going to put the cauliflower into the mixture, the flour water mixture, to coat everything. And uh, stir it all up. Last time I used almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, and that's in the recipe, but um, this time I just used the water. It seems to be just as good. Here I'm going to coat each, I mean, I'm going to coat each uh, cauliflower with breadcrumbs. So they're already been coated with the flour water mixture, and I'm just going to do one at a time and put them on the tray. Here's the final product after I battered them with flour and water. Coated them with flour and water and then um, put the breadcrumbs on there. So we're going to throw that in the oven now. It's, it's preheated to 450. I'm going to cook that for about 20 minutes. And then once it's crispy, it depends on your oven. So just kind of watch it. You want it to brown and be kind of crispy. So you can just check it. and. Um, from that point, you can just eat them and dip them in your sauce and in your barbecue sauce because it'll be crispy that way. But uh, Bonnie likes to coat them. She wants me to coat them and bake them again. They tend to dry out again. I still like to have a dip on the side when I eat them. So I put these into the bowl and I'm going to add some sauce here. I don't really measure. 
put some of that in there. And I've got this uh, hot sauce. And then I'm just going to mix it. I'll show you this a bit. So now I'm going to just put this back on the uh, tray and bake for another 20 minutes or so. So good, meaty texture. You don't have to bake them twice, as I said, but you can bake them twice with uh, barbecue sauce. They dry out. You want to make sure they dry out, you know, so they're crispy. And um, you can add some more hot sauce on these as you eat them, or you can also dip them. This is a no oil barbecue sauce. So there's different ways you can go about this. You can. Avoid the hot sauce, you can use it if you want it hot. You can uh, bake it twice with the barbecue sauce or not. Or you could just uh, bake them the once and dip them. So lots of options, I'm gonna go eat these now. So talk to you guys later.